So in these next couple of lines of code that I'm going to write, I may make some mistakes on purpose, and then we'll come back and look at it. But oftentimes, in terms of learning something, if you exhibit the problem first and then come back and correct it, it's more impactful in terms of getting things right later. Okay, so how do we go about calculating the average? So the average is just going to be the summation of some values and then dividing by the number of values that we have. So a pretty basic calculation. Uh, we'll need to have a variable to actually store the result of our calculation. So we can think about just a basic expression. What are we wanting to do? We're wanting to take the, the meta score and the tomato meter score, add those up, and then divide by two since there's two scores there. So we can think of maybe an expression like this, meta score uh, plus uh, tomato, tomato meter, and then we want to divide by two. Now we have to be careful here with this division here. We have to remember our order of operations. So we know that we do anything in parentheses first, then we do exponents, then multiplication division, and then addition and subtraction. Uh, working from left to right. So the way it's, it's uh, specified here would actually do this division operation before we did uh, the addition. We actually want to sum these values first, so we should probably put uh, parentheses here. So that we construct parentheses around uh, some particular operation that we want to do before some other operation to override the operator precedence of multiplication before, or excuse me, division before addition here. So we do what's in parentheses first. And what we need to do is assign this particular calculation here to a variable. So I'm going to just assign it to an int variable called average, AVG, and make sure that our statement ends with a semicolon. So we have a valid statement here in C++ to calculate the average. Okay. The other thing that I'm going to point out here is that uh, Metascore and Tomato Meter, they both offer values that are on a 100-point range as opposed to a 10-point range. So this is where we need to rescale the average that we come up with from a 100-point range to a 10-point range. So basically we're taking whatever value we calculated here and we're going to have to divide it by 10. So down here under rescale average, I'm going to declare a new variable. And we'll call it rescale, uh, maybe rescaled uh, score. Maybe that's a good variable name. And we'll take the average that we previously calculated and divide it by 10. So that rescales it onto a 10-point scale. Then for displaying the result, it's just going to be a C out. And then we'll say uh, our calculated, oops, let's see, calculated average on a 10 point scale for, and we'll put in the name of the movie here, and we'll say is space, let's see and then put in the variable rescaled uh, score. All right. And then we can put a period here at the end. Uh, if you prefer, you can put this on multiple lines. So anytime you see this insertion operator here, you can uh, hit return before or after the insertion operator, and I'll just put it on the next line. So that way our line is not too long. So that's our last bit of code that we need to have. One thing else that we probably should do is have this return zero. Um, if we don't put that return zero in there, it will be okay by default main if you in C++, if you don't have a return statement in there, it will default to a return zero statement. Uh, you may end up with some sort of warning from whatever editor or whatever uh, integrated development environment that you're using. Okay, so it pretty much looks like we're ready to to save and build our program, but before we do that, let's go ahead and calculate what the scaled average would be on a 10-point scale for a particular movie if we were to use the Metascore and the Tomato Meter score. So we want to be able to come up with a particular test case, see what the value would be, and then when we run our program, we can test our, our program against the value that we expect to receive. So I've already pulled up 
a movie here, The Incredibles, on both uh, Rotten Tomatoes and uh, Metacritic, which has the Metascore. And so on Metascore, it has a score of 90, and then on Rotten Tomatoes, it has a tomato meter score of 97. So let's just pull up our calculator here and say 90 plus 97. And then that will give us the summation that we're going to do. And then we'll divide that by 2, which is 93.5. And then we'll divide that by 10 to get our scaled score. So we would expect to get a result of 9.35 from our program if it's working correctly. So let's go ahead and, and go back in here to Eclipse and run this program. So first we need to save it, and then we will build it. So during the build phase, we're doing the compiling and the linking operations. It doesn't look like we have any problems, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so if we look down here at the console, we'll see the prompt of what is the name of the movie. So the name of our movie is The Incredibles. So we'll type that in, hit enter, and then say it says what is the Metascore rating for The Incredibles. So the Metascore rating was 90. So type that in and hit enter. And then we have what is the tomato meter rating for The Incredibles. So that was 97. And then we'll hit enter. So it looks like for our program, it says our calculated average on a 10-point scale for The Incredibles is 9. And then it has a dot there. And that's actually the period. It's not even representative of a decimal point. It's just the period that ended our, our sentence here. So it's not exactly what we were expecting. We were expecting to get 9.35. So let's go back and, and look at our program where we were actually calculating the average and rescaling the average. So what you'll notice here, if we look at this closely, we have a data type over here on the left-hand side of this assignment operation of an int. So we're saying that the average is an int data type. And what do we know about int data types? Well, those are representative of integers, so they do not store fractional parts. So if we calculate an average here, and we know that the average can have a fractional part, if we were to take some set of numbers and divide them by some other number, we can end up with a fractional part. Uh, we're losing that. That's being you know, truncated or lost whenever we store it to this variable over here because it's not capable of uh, storing a, um, a fractional part. So what we can do is change this particular data type to being a data type that can preserve or save a fractional part. So one of the types that we looked at that can do that is the double. So let's change this to double. And let's also do the same thing here for rescale average. So we need to be able to preserve it there. Because if you preserve it here and then you go and divide by 10 on this next line and then store it back into an integer value, you're going to lose whatever fractional part you had again. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. And we'll build it again. And then we'll run it again. All right, so let's go back through and we'll type in the name being the Incredibles. Uh, the Metascore rating again was 90. And the tomato meter for the Incredibles was 97. So this time it says our calculated average on the 10-point scale for the Incredibles is 9.3. So still not the 9.35 that we were expecting. So something else is going on. And what's going on is if we look at this line of code here, we have Metascore plus tomato meter divided by 2. Well, that looks like you know it should give us an average that has a fractional part. But something subtle is going on behind the scenes, or maybe not so subtle if you actually understand it. So Metascore is an integer value because we typed in 90. Tomato meter was also an integer value uh, since we specified that both of those were integer values. It was 97. And whenever we add those together, it's also going to be resulting in an integer value. And this 2 here is an integer literal. So whenever we perform this division here, what's going on is it's performing what we call integer division, since we have an integer both in the dividend and the divisor. So the result is also going to be an integer. That's just what it is. So the way that we need to change this is that we can make either the dividend a, a double or the divisor 
a double. It really doesn't matter which one because if one's a double, then the operation that it will do will actually preserve the fractional part. So what we can do is actually cast uh, maybe the, the value here, Metascore plus tomato meter, to be a double value. And the way we can go about casting is just doing an open print, double, close paren. So what this effectively is saying is for this particular operation, make this stuff here to be of type double. So whenever we have a double here and a double, or excuse me, an int here, it will automatically do a division operation so that it preserves the fractional part. So we can see that that works. Let's save this, click on the build button, and then we'll run our program again. And this time the name of the movie once again is going to be The Incredibles. And then we have the Metascore rating which was 90 and the Tomato Meter rating which was 97. So our calculated average on a 10 point scale for The Incredibles is 9.35. So we get the expected result this time. Now I did say that we could have also made this 2 value a double. Uh, and one of the easiest ways to make this uh, 2 value a double is to just do dot zero. So the decimal point zero. So this makes this a double literal. Any time in our program where we have a value and it has decimal point, it's automatically seen as a double value. So if you wanted to, you could get rid of this. It doesn't matter that it's there, but we could get rid of that. And so you have a double here and you have an int here. And since you have an int and a double, it's going to automatically uh, promote this to being a double and perform uh, double division so that we have a fractional part. So let's go ahead and save that, build it, and then run it. All right, so again, the name is Incredibles. Uh, the Metascore rating is 90, and the Tomato Meter uh, score is 97. And so again, we get the same exact result. We get 9.35. So that was our expected result. All right, so we've covered a lot of things in this program here. We've looked at devising an algorithm, writing pseudocode, the idea behind comments, uh, type conversion, also integer division, casting, so being able to cast a particular value to another value. And we'll probably talk more about casting in other programs. Uh, so we've, we've seen a lot. Um, and we'll do more in our next program.